Hey there Seahawks, it's Miss Adams, and in this video we're going to learn how to analyze discrete random variables. Alright, the mean of a discrete random variable is the average value over many many repetitions of the same chance process. Suppose that x is a discrete random variable with probability distribution shown below. To find the expected value of x, multiply each possible value of x by its probability, then add all the products. All right, so x1 times p1 plus x2 times p2 plus x3 times p3 and so on. The standard deviation of a discrete random variable measures how much the value of the vari variable typically vary from the mean in many, many repetitions of the same chance process. Suppose that x is a discrete random variable with the probability distribution shown below, and that mu of x is the mean of x. The standard deviation is the x value minus the mean squared times its probability plus the next x value minus the mean squared times its probability, and so on. All right, the US Census Bureau collects data on the number of vehicles per household in the United States. We will ignore the very small percentage of houses that have more than four vehicles. Let V equal the number of vehicles in a randomly selected household. The probability distribution of V in for recent year is given in the table below. All right, so make a histogram of the probability distribution. Describe its shape. All right, so here's what our probability distribution is going to have probabilities along the y-axis. For 0, we're going up to 0 0.09, 1.34, 2.37, 3.14, 4.5, and 4.06. All right, so the graph is roughly symmetric with a peak near two vehicles. All right, finding and interpreting the mean. Calculate and interpret the expected value. The expected value is the same as the mean. So we take each value, times it by its probability, plus the next value, times its probability, plus the next value, times its probability, and so on, and we get 1.74. Alright, to interpret it, we would say if many, many households are randomly selected, the average number of vehicles will be about 1.74. Alright, standard deviation. In the last sample, we calculated the mean, so we're going to use that mean to calculate now the standard deviation. So the standard deviation, we're going to take each value minus the mean squared times the probability. So 0 minus the mean, 1.74 squared, times the probability for 0 is 0 0.09. Plus the next value minus the mean squared times its probability of 0 0.34, and so on. And we get the square root of 1.0124, or 1.01. And if we interpreted it, it would be if many, many households were randomly selected, the number of vehicles will typically vary from the mean of 1.74 vehicles by about 1.01 vehicles. All right, go Seahawks. 